This week we are highlighting women who run their own companies while raising kids. In today's Mom Boss segment, we feature Lindsay Fagan, the owner of Chip and Chisel. So Lindsay lives in Southwest Washington and is a mom of twin girls. She works from home, but we caught up with her at a pop-up shop in Lake Oswego. I found out her very personal and touching reason she started her jewelry company. Mama will do your name. There we go. I knew that when we were trying to get pregnant that if we were able to have kids, that after everything we went through, I did not want to be gone from, you know, nine to five every day. This is how I work, seriously, every day. <laughs> um, I know, this is mom life. Um, then there's just a little, what he? I do juggle it all, I do work full time, but I, I get to dictate my own schedule, which is huge. We were faced with infertility and I thought we have to figure out a way to pay for this because you know it can be like $15,000 a cycle for IVF. I told my husband I was going to make jewelry and he said, oh do you, do you make jewelry? <laughs> and I said, oh no, but I'm going to learn. And so I did. I taught myself. Not long after I started creating the jewelry, I decided I'm going to try to hand stamp because I had always loved that. I love the look of it and it's just so personal. But it was over the course of three to three and a half years of trying to have kids and paying for it. We did two full rounds of IVF and then a total of six transfers. So on our sixth transfer, those were our last two embryos, very last two little babies. And I had already written them off because these were embryos that were not graded well at all. And I thought these are never gonna work. Within four days of our cycle, I was like, something is different. And sure enough, within four days we were pregnant. I just instantly went running down the stairs and was like, oh my god, we're pregnant. This is Addison and she is all about her dad. She loves everything he does. She wants to do anything boys can do. And this is Olivia. She is my girly girl. She is all about everything mama does and my cuddle bug. It all worked out and I'm almost, you know, eight years in and this is my baby and now the babies we work so hard to conceive like now they're a huge part of it and that's like everything to me. Hang in there. I have a really special place in my heart for people going down that path. Unless you have traveled that path you have no idea how hard it is. It actually just makes me emotional just talking about it because it was it was the hardest time of my life. If it's something that you want so desperately you never will feel good about giving up until like you just know in your heart that you've exhausted every single option. I think that for me it's definitely made me a more selfless person. You really learn to like put everybody else's needs first. I think it's just made me a better person overall. It sounds really cliche, but it's true. I just hope that they like grow up into like good, strong women that are like just good to people. Oh, I just get like teary hearing yeah. her story and uh -huh. thinking about it. And uh, by the way, the girls are four. How darling are they? Super cute. They're just the cutest family. Um, Lindsay's uh, business is online at chipandchisel.com, but we want to thank Wishbone and Lake Oswego. They let us in to shoot um, at their beautiful shop there. And um, Lindsay also is a big support system. She now kind of gives back and, and is suppo uh, supportive of other families mm -hmm. going through a similar journey. So she's really coming to her own. I know that you have gotten such an outpouring from other mom bosses, so I hope you keep profiling. I, I want to. Okay, Keep good. sending us messages and we will. We <laughs> want uh, 15 more of those from you next week. Okay, done. In the meantime, uh